In this video, we are going to learn how to import the data MySQL database. So to make sure that you have created a new database and you have also created the username and added, added it to the database. Uh, if you if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can go to the previous videos where I uh, talked about creating the databases and adding username to the database. You can go watch that tutorial and then continue to the series of transferring the site to the server. So once you have transferred, um, created the database, now you can merge the um, uh, database which we downloaded from the cPanel host. It is a, a good idea to create this uh, data, new database with the same name and the username with the same user as it was on the previous host. In this case, it was HostGator. So it is just easier to manage and uh, and continue. Uh, we don't if you, we, if we use the same kind of um, same username and same database name it will be easier to manage because we will not have to change the uh, config files ADC so let's get started first make sure you are in to in the public HTML folder now list all of the files by typing the ls command so we can see the tubers underscore showbiz dot s dot sql dot gz file so we are going to unzip it using the gzip command gzip dash d and then the file name showbiz dot sql dot gz Let's see we have successfully unzipped it. Yes, we now have the uh, tables underscore showbiz dot SQL file. So the next thing we are going to do is we are actually going to merge the this current database which we downloaded from the previous host to the newly created database on the on this new server now let's import that tubers underscore showbiz dot my sql file to our server first make sure that you have created a mysql database and mysql user on this new server and grant all access for their user to the database i have already created a database i have also added a username to the to the database i use the same name for the database as it was on the previous server in this case it was tubers underscore showbiz so let's type in the command mysql dash u and then the mysql user which we created on this server if you don't know how to create database or user uh, user on the database go watch my previous videos about creating databases so type in u underscore the username sorry the space username underscore showbiz and then the dash p and then the name of the database which we created on the server which is the same as the username and now type in this bigger than sign I don't know what exactly it is called but 
type in <laughs> this sign and then the name of the SQL file which is tuple underscore showbiz.sql showbiz.sql then press enter your MySQL password successfully imported the database to the to our new server now we can add that uh, database to our WordPress site in this case we use the same username and same database so we don't really need to change anything if you go to the domain name you should probably see your uh, website make sure you point your um, domain name to the server so you can access it through the domain name I have showed it in the previous video that's it for this tutorial